Good morning, Dopey, and welcome to Good Morning Dopey. Uh, Howie, look at Howie just uh, wrote me and told me we don't have a daily reflection for tomorrow. So Linda and Nora are watching Stranger Things. I'm running in here to finish tomorrow's daily reflection. Uh, just so you know, DopeyCon tickets went on sale today. We're selling them to Dopey patrons first. If you're not a Dopey patron, go to www.patreon.com slash Dopey Podcast. Throw two bucks and you'll be a patron. Two dollars a month, it's like 12 cents a day. And considering all the free material I give you, I don't think that's too much to ask. But maybe I'm being grandiose. I'm going to do this quickly. We've already sold a bunch of tickets. There's 500 Patreon members. I mean, if you really wanted to know my opinion, I don't think we're going to sell out in Patreon, but I would love it if you signed up for Patreon. Anyway, there's a lot of good stuff on Patreon. A lot of Howie. I know you guys love Howie. Um, giving up center stage. For without some degree of humility, no alcohol, no alcoholic can stay sober at all. Without it, they cannot live so much, too much useful purpose. Or in adversity. I can't read. It's too dark. Or in adversity, be able to summon the faith that can meet any emergency. Why do I balk at the word, word humility? I am not humbling myself toward other people, but toward God as I understand him. Humility means to show submissive respect. And by being humble, I realized I am not the center of the universe. When I was drinking, I was consumed by pride and self-centeredness. I felt that world revolved around me and I was the master of my destiny. Humility enables me to depend more on God to help me overcome obstacles, to help me with my own imperfection so that I may grow spiritually. I must solve more difficult problems to increase my proficiency and as I encounter life's stumbling blocks, I must learn to overcome them through God's help. Daily communion with God demonstrates my humility and provides me with the realization that an entity more powerful than I is willing to help me if I create, if I cease trying to play God myself. Yes, I would say this is all true. Um, you know, it's that great addict expression, the egomaniac with the inferiority complex or the piece of shit in the center of the universe that Chris often said and Leah McSweeney said on the show this week. Um, it's right-sizing, right? It's not thinking you're the worst. It's not thinking you're the best. It's just thinking you're just another another person, garden variety drunk, not uh, special. I, but I think everyone's special, personally. I think we're all incredible. What's the... There's a great expression. I can't... Terminally unique or toxically cool or whatever. And I, I would say that we are all terminally unique in that every every uh garden variety drunk and every garden variety dr junkie drug addict is they were all terminally unique but we're all in the same boat um humility is great it, it, it binds us with uh humbleness <laughs> with with uh it gives us an, an opportunity to be uh grateful and to be kind and uh to be cool. I think to be humble is to be cool. Um, I got to go watch Stranger Things. Have a great night. Leave a comment. Like like this video. Uh, go join Patreon. www.patreon.com slash dopeypodcast and buy tickets to DopeyCon. On sale now. Catered by cats. There's lots of special guests. Stay strong, Dopey Nation. Fucking toodles for Chris. Dopey, I'm on the floor. Oh, baby.